Hello again everybody, Alan Shura here and it is February 25th, 2017. It's been a while since the last video but uh, this is acceleration under a load. So here I have a couple of uh, six volt motors, DC, permanent magnet, but what's important is their configuration. They're put at uh, 90 degrees and these motors are um, small appliance motors so they're more made for durability and torque but they have this effect if they're in this arrangement where at 90 degrees it can cause uh, an oscillation between them. So here's the power supply I have and um, I was told by different uh, that it should have the same, hold the same wattage. But I'll get into the technical details and theory later but just to show how this power supply is reading here See, it shows the battery, 5.8 volts, but there's no power whatsoever coming from the power supply. So the display is showing the actual power in the system, not the power being delivered. So I don't have, you know, the um, measurement gauges. I will, in, in a future video, explain that more. So I'll start these motors. And they take a fair amount of amperage to start. So I have to start it. Uh, just barely get it going at uh, well not very high voltage but a very good amperage well, the power supply just been cutting out but now it's using less power and it is turning You can see that there's probably just about eight, a little over eight watts, 8.4 watts or so. And I'm not touching the power supply at all. And so it's measuring the power in the system, but it's holding the wattage more or less constant. So this is the simplest possible configuration to introduce this technology and I have a circuit that enhances this effect quite a bit on acceleration but I just wanted to show that it's even possible um, this way so So now we're up to about 2.1, if I can get the voltage up a little higher. And it's about this point where it starts to almost resonate in the motor and start a communication path. with the orientation of the angles. So there are thresholds to this. Certain points where the effects begin to manifest themselves. So we'll just take a look at the power supply and 
listen to the motor a bit and it should start its um, oscillation to an, to an acceleration cycle. So I don't have a big load like a light on it, but I have had it in the other configuration where it, the acceleration was much quicker. So I'll explain the philosophy and that theory. Now you can see the power is markedly increasing. So it's almost like 15 watts or so, but it's more or less holding the the amperage, which is pretty high constant, but it's starting to accelerate on the voltage. But I'm not touching the power supply. And I've had the diode connected, I'll get into that maybe a little later too. But the effect should start to appear soon. Now it appears to be going into a low oscillation cycle and usually what follows that is a, is a acceleration cycle. So it hasn't been up to 4 volts yet. We'll see if it can climb that high. And then the acceleration will be apparent as the the amperage is not changing very much at all. I'm up to 3.9. There it hit four, four volts. Now that's a real acceleration going from, you know, about a little over three, three, three and a half, up to 4.1 now. It's hit 4.1, a new high, and I haven't touched this power supply, but it just, it's just showing that, and the load is basically the, uh, the other motor, which in reverse is actually a generator, so I could attach a load to the end there. But how much of an increase will take how much of a load and still have the acceleration? Well, to get into that, this is just the very simplest form to show what's happening there. Can it go higher? Well, Four point two. That's quite a bit. That's almost uh, four point eight. Four point four. It's a full just about a full volt increase in power volts times amps equals watts. Almost you know getting up there in the high teens for the watts. But look, it's climbed more than a volt in, in how long? About, you know, a few minutes.
And as I say, the effect is much more marked, marked with a, a circuit, but I'll have to get into that after I try to ex um, explain this uh, in a more philosophical, theoretical term, but basically I deal with the results I see and the results um, they're what I'm looking for. Of course, I'll have more accurate measurement. I've got some watt meters in the mail. There, it's up to five volts, but that's pretty, pretty significant. And the amperage constant vir virtually. risen just about almost two volts okay <clears throat> so I'll get into the uh, my thoughts on it from many different aspects perhaps uh, in another video so that's it for now and I'll try to um, explain this more after. <clears throat>